just about set to get things going in Southern California. It's the Rockies and the Dodgers next on the show. Friday night baseball from Dodger Stadium in L.A. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the West-leading Colorado Rockies and the Dodgers. Hi again, folks. Matt Vaskersian here for this National League matchup out west. Alongside me are Major League veterans Steve Lyons and Eric Karros. And Steve, let's talk about the two starters that take the baseball here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. We'll hear more from the guys as the night moves along. But first, let's bring in a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Colorado Rockies as they'll align themselves like this here tonight. Clayton Kershaw will be on the mound to face them. And if he's going to be successful against these hitters, he's going to need to keep the ball down in the strike zone without question. Behind him defensively, the Dodgers will line up like this. Charlie Blackman makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Left fielder, Charlie Blackman. Trying to bunt his way on to open the ball game, but he misses it for strike one. E.K., you take a look at our homestanding nine as they enter play here this evening. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. First, that last win gets them a step closer to the 500 mark. They can actually reach 500 if they can pull this one out. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. On to first with it is Kendrick, and it's in plenty of time for the first down. DJ LeMayhew will get his first opportunity here. And as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. Game time temperature here in even 60 degrees. The next pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. He'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. And this is right where they wanted this thing. You see it on show track there? They wanted to take him up around the letters hoping for the pop-up, and that's exactly what they got. Troy Tulowitzki will stand in as he'll enter play fourth in the National League batting race. Here's the first offering. And this is fouled back and out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now here it comes. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. you got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so could the guy on the mound. Hits softly to the right side. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Yeah, and if you remember back a year ago, he no-hit this team last year. You can bet these guys remember, but you can forget about a repeat performance because they're officially into the hit column here. Corey Dickerson will stand in. He comes off an 0-4 for 4 in last night's ball game. First pitch coming. 
And that's in there for strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. High set by Kershaw, now the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. And later in the game, maybe you question this decision to run because you worry about taking the bat out of the hands of one of your best hitters. But here in a scoreless game, I doubt they're going to put him on. So that was a good job to take what's given to you. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1-2. and two. Well, this is the kind of situation where they came up short last night. They had opportunities, but they could never really cash him in. So you can bet they'd love to get something going on the board early. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One left for Colorado. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Now the starting lineup for Don Mattingly's Los Angeles Dodgers. It looks like this. They'll match up against the Mexican-born left-hander Jorge De La Rosa, as you see his numbers right there on your screen. Now a quick look at the defensive alignment for the Rockies. Howie Kendrick will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. The now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. In there, no balls and a strike. E.K., as we take a look at the Rockies' starting play here tonight, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, and the pitching really let them down last time. Too often, their guys were falling behind and having to throw fastballs on 2-0 and or 3-1. and That'll catch up with you after a while. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. And I think it's fair to say that the Dodgers didn't wait long to find their replacement for D. Gordon at second base. They didn't have to look too far either, as Kendrick just heads right up the I-5 freeway and trades in his angel red for Dodger blue. And he's on base here with a solid single. First pitch on the way. Justin Turner is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. One thing to keep an eye on as this game goes along, first pitch strikes. The more this guy can work from ahead, the better off he's going to be. Nobody out, runner on first. He's set, now the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Dickerson will get there as he tracks it down deep in foul territory for route number one. Throw into second, not in time. He took a chance tagging up, but made it pay off. So problems out there in right field as this is going to wind up going as an E9. Yasiel Puig will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. Now here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. One out and a runner on second base.
He's ready. Now the pitch. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Dickerson is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. I think at first he probably had thoughts about tagging up here, but there's that old baseball adage, don't make the last out of the inning at third base. So staying at second, probably the right call. Adrian Gonzalez will stand in, and he's certainly a dangerous man up there, currently second in the National League in RBIs. Now here's the first pitch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. And since we were referring to the NLRBI leaders a moment ago, there they are on your screen. From the stretch. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. We played an inning. No score. Justin Morneau leads things off now in the top half of the second. First baseman number 33, Justin Morneau. First pitch coming. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. Ball. It's ball one. I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. The 1-0 pitch. First two pitches okay. off the mark here. It's 2-0. and And you go back to the call on that very first pitch. How important that was. Now instead of a one and one count, you're at two and zero oh with a really dangerous hitter up there. Here it comes. Grounded foul. Ready with the two one. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. 2-2 pitch on the way. Fouled back. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Full count pitch on its way. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. And this turned out to be a question of who'd blink first. I mean, these are two elite players in this game, neither of whom will back down from anybody. That was a heck of a battle there. The good news is, there'll be others to come. Nolan Arenado will stand in for the first time now, looking to keep that hot streak going as he's been hitting the ball well these past six ball games. First offering on the way. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. And the pitch. Breaking ball and a good one on the corner to make it 0-2. And this is what you like to see, especially coming off of a loss in his last start. These first couple innings, he's coming right after guys. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts to frame with back-to-back -back strikeouts here. Three in a row going back to the last inning, and there are two away. That's now three straight strikeouts going back to last inning. Whatever he's throwing, it's working up there. Michael McHenry will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. First pitch to him. 
And this one's oh. not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Yeah, those are the ones you like to start in that bat, especially your first time up. I agree. Give me a nice, easy one in the dirt that I can take so I can really get ahead in that count early. Here comes the 1-0. Out of play off to the right. It's 1-1. One and one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Right now, they'd be lucky to just put one in play. Here comes a 1-2. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. 1-2-3 go the Rockies. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Scott Van Slyke will stand in now. Still struggling to get anything going offensively. Here's the first offering. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. The 1-0. One and one. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Ready now on one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, well, that's, I guess, what you'd call a rule book strike. Technically, that's in the strike zone, but it's a call that most pitchers don't get nowadays. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Now ah, this is popped high in the air back near second. And Tulowitzki takes this one for the first out. Here's that swing again. This is in show motion. And mm, you'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. In now is J.J. Ellis. And this will be fouled away. And now pitch on the way. Grounded foul toward the third base dugout. The pitch. Here we go. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. And you know, we're going to see this happen quite a bit out there. You know, that's not exactly the tallest outfield fence you're ever going to find. So this ball hops right over it for a ground rule double. Here's Jock Peterson now. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. That average for him sitting at 345. One home run, nine driven in. Come set, now the pitch. And this is hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field, base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Boy, I'll tell you, these are the scary ones for a pitcher. This is going to give you a pretty good angle right here because this ball is hit so hard, and it's just about right at him. I mean, there's no time to do anything out there. He's pretty lucky that one didn't get him because he would have taken his head off. Jimmy Rollins 
will get his first shot here. Couple of hits in four trips last night. And here's the first pitch. The ball hit hard to the left side. And a base hit as the run will come in to score from third, and it's now a 1-0 lead for the Dodgers. That's a nice swing of the bat right there. Hits that ball right on the butt and out to left field. That'll easily score that runner from third. Stepping in now, Clayton Kershaw, as he'll reach for one and come up empty for the first strike. And for as bad as he missed that pitch, you can bet we're going to see that again before this at-bat's over. He waits, now the pitch. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. And with one out already, I think they were concerned of the possibility of a double play. So they're going to let the pitcher go ahead and put one down right here. Now at least you give your leadoff guy a chance to drive in a couple runs with two outs. Howie Kendrick will step in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to pad this lead a bit early on. Now the first pitch. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run scores. The throw to the plate. And he will score as well. And they force the lead up to 3-0 now. This is a spot where you're asking your leadoff hitter to be an RBI guy. And he does the job here. Driving home two on the RBI single. Justin Turner will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch coming. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Dickerson is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Dodgers three, and the Rockies nothing. Drew Stubbs. We'll get his first shot here, and he certainly had it working so far this season. Up over 350 entering play. Now the first pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. The 1 0 home. 2 0 now. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Swing and a miss. Might have got a piece, actually. It's two and one. Two one, Wait. and a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time. Two and two. Boy, he just turned that thing over perfectly. He put that thing right on a dime. Two two. Wait. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. One away here to begin the third. Now, once the sun goes down here, this place plays like a much different ballpark. Case in point right there. That ball had no carry whatsoever. Jorge De La Rosa will dig in here. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central. Peterson will range to his left and put it away. Two down. 
And if these guys want to keep it fly balls, I think he'll be happy with that. Especially when it's the guys down near the bottom of the lineup. Charlie Blackman will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. First pitch coming. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Sometimes all it takes is just one call to go against you, like that one right there, and then you get yourself out of your own rhythm. You got to be able to put that behind you and move on. 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Yeah, it, it's so easy to get caught reaching on that pitch. We've seen a few of his teammates do it already. That's a great job to recognize slider and play off. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. They trail it here three to nothing. Yasiel Puig will come forward to lead things off here for the Dodgers with Adrian Gonzalez due to hit next. First pitch on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. Yeah, and I don't think I'd be in any big hurry to challenge this guy again. I'd see if I could make him go out of the zone, maybe chase a bad pitch. Now here's the pitch. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But this is gloved over there at first as he was in the right spot at the right time. One away. A reminder that Dodger baseball continues all season long here on the show. There you get a look at what's coming up over the course of the next seven days. Adrian Gonzalez will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Here it comes. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. One out, nobody on. The 1-1. One, one. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now the 1-2. One, and there's a pitch Gonzalez takes, and we're back even at 2-2. Two and two. Here comes a 2 2. Oh, and he's going to beat him at their own game here as this is sharply hit to the left side and through for a base hit. Well, that shift can be a gamble sometimes. They're playing straight up. This is probably an out, but since they're shifted well over to right field, this binds a seam. Scott Van Slyke will dig in. Popped out his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is hit well towards the hole. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, a double play, but instead now you're in hot water here with one away. In now is J.J. Ellis as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. That's not really a bad take that time. You've got a guy out there on the mound that's had his hands full already, so you've got to make him prove that he can find the zone.
comes set. Now the pitch. And that misses one and one. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so at least he's got that going for him. One one pitch on the way. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball one and two now. Get a hold of that one. He's ready now, the pitch. And here's the ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Need a great hit here. Here's another one, too. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. A big pitch here, one and two. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. Blackman is over now, and he puts this one away in foul territory, and there are two men out. This has just been a rough day for this guy so far in this one. Everything they're hitting is hard, even if it's right at someone. Jock Peterson will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. Now here's the first pitch. That's hard hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. The throw to the plate. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to 4 nothing now. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. So two on with two away, and that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. And this could wind up being a bullpen kind of game as we've got action down there right now when we're only in the third inning. Now here's the first pitch. Hard hit down the line. What a stop coming off the bag. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. What a play. Another look at the fine play at first that concludes matters here in the inning. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. D.J. LeMayhew will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. First pitch coming. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Come on. The 1-0. No offer at the curveball either. It's 2-0. Yeah, he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now. and That's going to get him into trouble if he keeps leaving it up there like that. Now the 2-0 home. And little doubt about that one. That's in there, and it's 2-1. and one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Oh, I think he'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Now the three-one pitch. And they're gonna have a leadoff base runner here as the fastball's lined in to left to base hit. And on the mound. Here's where you got to keep pitching like it's a one-run game. You never want to get in that relaxed mode where you think, eh, I've got some cushion. I, I can afford to give up some hits. That'll spell disaster. Troy Tulowitzki will dig in. He singled his first time around. High set by Kershaw. Now the pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. 
Now here's a good spot to finally break through against this guy. You've got the leadoff man on, the heart of the order's coming up, and maybe this is a good chance to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. Just keeping him close. Now the 1-0. Downstairs, no two balls and no strikes. And on 2-0, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. 2-0 count, the pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and it's 2-1 and one now. Here it comes, 2-1. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Now a snap throw to first. And the runner back in standing. Now Kershaw delivers a 2-2. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's 3-2. From the belt, the pitch. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Kendrick. Relay to Gonzalez, and it's a double play. Well, this ball is hit sharply, but you'll see the pitch is working its way down in the strike zone, and that's very tough to elevate. It's going to wind up being an easy double play ball. Corey Dickerson will come on now, and no sooner did it look like they may have something started than the double play took it all away. And that's especially tough when you figure the part of the lineup they're in. These are the guys you want to have hitting with runners on base. First pitch to him. And a ball, 1-0. One ball, no strike. Let's go, 1-0 pitch now. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Kershaw now on one and one. And that misses two and one all the way here to start the at-bat. And that's fine, but you can't be afraid to work inside. You can jam this guy. Get him to roll over something. You don't have to strike him out. There's the cold strike he was looking for. Two and two now. But this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. The 2-2. Two -two. Now a ball sliced hard on the ground, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. No runs, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Rockies so far. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The two two one more time. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Turner is there to make the catch and the side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Dodgers out in front, four to nothing. Clayton Kershaw will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Here's the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and And for that guy right there, this is going to be an important inning. He's already given up four runs through three. And you know, they need to get a minimum of five, hopefully six innings out of him. So he needs to show something right here. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's 1-1. One and one. Well, you can tell he's trying to work that pitch away. But he might have left that one a little more over the plate than he intended. One one on the way. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging.
Here comes the one two. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now another one two. Now here's a little tapper down that third base line, and this could be a tough play. Foul. Again, a one-two. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Yeah, you know, sometimes as a hitter, when you get into that cycle of fouling off pitch after pitch and trying to protect, you just feel like you have to swing at everything you see. And here, he knows that out on the mound, so he just keeps going farther and farther away from the strike zone until he finally gets a swing and miss. Here's Howie Kendrick. As he swings and pops this one foul off to the right out of play. Bases are empty, one man out. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. And there's a swing and a miss by Kendrick as he falls behind now 0-2. And, and it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world here to mix in a take every now and again. And the pitch. Ah, he can't get him to bite this time. It's one and two. Pretty clear the plan is to keep everything away. And that's smart for most guys, but you've got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the outside part of the plate. The one and two with one away. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. And here's the four-pitch sequence again on show track. You'll notice it's all hard stuff early in the count. First three pitches, then he pulls the string on him here on pitch number four, and down he goes. In now, Justin Turner. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. Now here it comes. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. But they're in front, four to nothing. Justin Morneau will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First baseman, Justin Morneau. Here's the first offering. Back to work now is Kershaw as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man, nothing in one. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret got to keep the ball down against a team like this if you go up every once in a while with a fastball you'll be fine but you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches and Gonzalez takes this one over to first himself for the out Nolan Arenado will try it again set down on strikes his first time Here we go. First offering on the way. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. Oh, 1-0 oh on the way. Cold strike at the knees. 1-1. One one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through for a base hit. Focus 
the catcher, number eight, Michael McHenry. Michael McHenry will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Now the first pitch. And this one runs up high, ball one. And he'll snap one over to first. Don't want to forget about it. Runners on first with one down. Here's the 1-0. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. The 1-1 home. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots his ball right back up the middle. Here's Drew Stubbs now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. And this is a big spot right here. You've got to get something out of this, even if it's just a run or two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hack. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. Low and away with that one, it's 1-2. and Yeah, that's the put-away curveball. A great pitch with two strikes. You start it in the zone, and then... Let it work out and see if he'll chase. Now the one-two pitch from Kershaw. Lays off two and two now. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. Here's the two and two offering. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Here he comes on two and two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And now, whatever pitch he feels most comfortable with, that's the pitch he needs to throw right here because he cannot afford to put this one out of the strike zone. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Swing and a liner. But this is going to get foul. Try it again, three and two. Grounded to third. This could be two. There's one. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Yasiel Puig stand in for the third time now still without a hit so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy and I think that's in the back of his mind but it's not something he's really focused on he just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen first pitch coming First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. This is where a guy who's been very aggressive around the plate may start thinking about being a little more fine later on in the game. When these guys start thinking, hey, you know what? I'm just going to go up there and jump on the first pitch. You don't even have to throw him something good to hit. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. One one. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. Here's the one two. To two balls and two strikes now. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. 
Now here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. And add another game to his hit streak right there. He's up to 11 games in a row now. Now here comes the Rocky skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that's going to be all for the starter, Jorge De La Rosa. So he'll depart after working just four-plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start, that's for sure. Buck Farmer is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Adrian Gonzalez will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. And that Colorado bullpen comes to life now with the lefty and a right-hander up to throw. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. And here's the first pitch. Toss started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. He's set. Now the pitch. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, this is all born from the fact that they're facing a really dangerous guy up there at the plate. And now with the runner up to second base anyway, they may even choose just to go ahead and put him on. Now the 1-1. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. No problem here. One away. Well, we talk about it a lot. Ideally, this should be to the right side of the infield. Maybe you give him a break because he's such a good hitter and he is a run producer, but I'll bet if you ask him, he'll wish he had a different approach in that at-bat. Here's Scott Van Slyke. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Ready? Now the pitch. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. Around third is Puig headed for the plate. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. So another run scores there on the base hit. Their fifth run in five innings so far. And we'll show you a look on cue at the highest scoring offenses in the league. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. A.J. Ellis will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. He's set, now the pitch. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one, nothing in two. Boy, he was so far behind that first pitch that he over-adjusted and was so far ahead of this one. Come set, now the pitch. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it, one and two. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. One, two. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Five runs, 10 hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. 
He'll try again, one, two. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Here's that sequence again. They get ahead with strike one. Then a swinging strike two has him deep in the hole, but then that's a good take on 0-2. They follow that with a good pitcher's pitch, and he bites off and fouls away, and then he just sits on this fifth pitch, and bam, solid base hit. Here's Jock Peterson now. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. He waits. Now the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Here comes the 1-1. That's hard hit back up the middle. What a flip for one. On to Morno, and they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Acrobatics that time to the bag to get this double play started. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Carlos Gonzalez will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Carlos Gonzalez. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but... As long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. Out of here! So they narrow the gap, and hey, don't count these guys out just yet. A solo shot here for Carlos Gonzalez. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's 5-1. And even though this is only one run, this is important, not just because it gets them on the board, but also because they needed something to get the dugout going a bit. Give them some life. Here's Charlie Blackman now. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Pitch on the way. And now he drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart the bun attempt. And you kind of figure that after giving up the long ball to the previous guy, the last thing he's thinking about is the next guy coming up there to punt. So that's a pretty good time to try it, but ultimately, it just doesn't work out this time. D.J. LeMayhew will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. First pitch coming. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Now the pitch. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Well, he's made five or six quality pitches in this inning, but he just made the one bad one. And you can bet that's the one he's going to remember when he gets back to the dugout. Good job here, though, because he bounced back to retire the next two guys that he faced. Here's Troy Tulowitzki now. 
as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. Here's the 1 and 0 offering now to Tulowitzki. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the 1 1 pitch. A ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. And this has been a pretty good comeback from that leadoff home run. Two straight outs now, and two strikes here as well. Here's the lefties offering on one and two. Now here's Tulowitzki with the ball hit high and deep out to left field. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. A solo home run off the bat of Troy Tulowitzki. Sixth home run on the season for him, and it's now a 5-2 to two game. And let's take a look at where this pitch ends up. You can see there, you know, even though this pitch isn't technically in the strike zone, it's still pretty much in his wheelhouse, and he just yanks this thing right out of here. Now batting, right fielder, Corey Dickerson. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Into the box now, Corey Dickerson. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Two out, nobody on. Now here's the pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. So after the strong five innings, things have not come as easily for him here in inning number six. Well, this is kind of the M.O. of this lineup. They have a way of just wearing you down. And they're starting to get into some better counts to hit. And that works paying off. One and two as he chases the slider. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. The one-two. Ball two. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two coming. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We'll see 8, 9, and 1 do up in the bottom of inning number 6. L.A.'s on top, 5-2. to two. John Axford will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the six. Number 59, John Axford. So the shortstop, Jimmy Rollins, will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. This one will be fouled back in among the fans. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. The pitch. Now a little pop-up off toward the third base side. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And the pitch. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. We showed you his numbers a minute ago. It's still early in the season to be worrying too much, but definitely off to a slow start. So he's going to need to string together a few good outings to lower that ERA a little bit. Clayton Kershaw. 
bat for himself here with his guys up three here in inning number six. First pitch on the way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And now pitch on the way. Line hard. Foul. Five two is our score here in inning number six. Here it comes. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Not a real good 0 2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Right-hander deals on one and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back punch-outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. So a good job to get the out there, but with five runs already surrendered, that's not going to do any favors to the team ERA so far this season. And as you see right there, that total puts them in the 14th spot, otherwise known as second-to-last in the NL. Howie Kendrick will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Here's the first pitch to him. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Pitch on the way. Fouled back. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now here it comes. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's one and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. Here comes a 1-2. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. The men in blue leading in this one as we get set to begin the seventh. But before we do, let's check out the game summary to this point. Justin Morneau will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Justin Morneau. Now here's the first pitch. Back to work now is Kershaw as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. Nothing in one. You surprised they've left this guy out there to start the seventh? I thought he was looking a little shaky in the sixth, so I don't think he's going to be on a real long leash right here. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. And a bouncing ball, foul. Here's Kershaw with another 0-2. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. Nolan Arenado will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time, and then a base hit last time around. Now here's the first pitch. And he runs it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. 
a bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Here's the one one pitch. In the air to right center. And this will be taken in without much trouble. It's an easy start to the seventh. Two gone. That slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt. As you take a look there, what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Michael McHenry will stride in. Popped out and singled in his two trips. Here's the first offering. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul for strike two. Now the pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Out of play. The next 0-2. The next 0-2 oh. misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 and two now. And now, as a hitter, 1-2, and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. He'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Here's another one, two. And look out as this bat shatters on impact. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. And the deficit remains five to two. Justin Turner will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so against a guy who's definitely in a groove out there. Yeah, he struck out the side his last time through, and they've got to do something to get this guy out of the hole that he's been on. And with Adrian Gonzalez just around the corner, we'll see a lefty getting loose in the bullpen now. step out at the plate and reassess things here. First pitch coming. Too high, 1-0. Here's a 1-0. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Yeah, there's a good one right there, right over the top. Just fire that thing in there. Now the one and one pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Hard to do much better than this. I mean, here are the only three batters he's faced since coming on. Strikeout, strikeout, and strikeout. Boy, that is flat dealing there. The one two and a good pitch but it misses here and that moves the count back to even on the Dodger third baseman two and two Woo 
Here's the two and two home. And this is pop fouled off to the right and back into the seat. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And he will keep it going on the mound. He struck out the side last time through. Now the streak hits four in a row. One away. Four straight strikeouts now since coming on out of the bullpen. He's been pretty much unhittable since he's entered the game. Yasiel Puig will get another crack. One for three thus far. Here's the first offering. On the ground to third. Oh, look at this. And boy, an error saver there at first if he kept his foot on the bag. He did. Oh, what a play for the second out. On a ball hit like that, if you're the pitcher, you're thinking, oh, base hit. But not this time. What tremendous defense out there. Great diving stop. Makes the play and gets the out. And the pitcher acknowledges it, and he's happy about it. Here's Adrian now. Fouled straight back. Now the pitch. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Now here's the pitch. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. The 0-2 once more. Now a curveball that's yanked high and deep down the line in right. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. And after going hitless in last night's ball game, he's turned things around here. That's his second hit of the ball game, and he's in at second base with a well-hit double. Here's Scott Van Slyke as he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. For Gonzalez, a good job there to pick up his 16th double of the year. Come set, now the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Dickerson has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Drew Stubbs will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. Drew no, Stubbs. he's been dominant all game long, and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on, and that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. First offering on the way. Now a changeup misses here to begin the eighth. It's 1-0, and oh. and now the second pitch of the inning will be his 100th of the ball game. Here's the 1-0. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. 
Nats right there at the belt, one and two now. Yeah, he probably won't have too big a dip in velocity the rest of the way. But the later this game goes, the more important it'll be to watch where his location is. That's probably the bigger concern. Now the one-two pitch from Kershaw. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. And a look there at the starter comparison, telling the story of the ball game. One guy still going and pitching well. The other one, long since departed for the showers. Roger Bernardino will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Yeah, and that fastball still got some life to it. <laughs> Even over 100 pitches. And the pitch. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. The one one. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one and two with one away. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Dodgers trying to close this one out in front of the home crowd here at Dodgers Stadium as you get a look there at our line score through the first seven plus. Charlie Blackman will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. First pitch to him. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. I know we have a tendency in the media to get hung up on pitch counts, but this is a legitimate workload he's sweated through so far. Yeah, anytime you get up around that 110 mark, you put in a full shift, and he's fast approaching it here. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. 2-0 on the way. That's out to left. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? He will not. This ball gets down to break the string. And he'll round it and try for third. Oh, and he misses the stop sign there as he heads for the plate. The tag from Ellis, and he is out at the plate. Up three downs for Colorado. They trail 5 2. Adam Ottavino is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Adam Ottavino. AJ Ellis will try not to stop believing as he'll lead things off for the Dodgers here in the bottom of the eighth. Time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at bat. Here it comes. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And the way these guys have been swinging at everything, I'm surprised he didn't go after that one, too. Woo! One one pitch on the way. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two.
Here comes the one two. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw on to first by Tulowitzki is in time for route number one. Jock Peterson will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Yeah, and that's the swing of a guy hoping for a first-pitch curveball right there. If he gets it, he hammers it. If not, he's about three feet too late. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here, 0-2. And, and that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. That's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. The pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think. But sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. Here's the one-two. And here's a swing, and another chance out there is short. To Lewitsky. Throw from a knee is too late, and that will be an infield single. Boy, what a great effort just to knock this one down before it gets into center field. But that was going to be asking a lot for him to get up and throw his man out. And as you can see there, that throw is well late. Here's J-Roll, Jimmy Rollins now, as he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. From the stretch. And a swing as he pulls this one into right, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. This is a tough play for a right fielder at night because this ball's hit pretty hard. So it's going to stay in those lights the whole way out there. But he's able to hang with it and put it away. Carl Crawford will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Now a ball lined into left field. That's a base hit. And he continues to hit the ball well as that'll push his hitting streak up to seven games now. David Hale will come on here looking to get the final out in the home half of inning number eight. Howie Kendrick will stand in with a showdown looming. Two on, two out here in inning number eight. Now the first pitch. Grounded to third. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Dodgers strand a couple. They're still out in front, five to two.
Kenley Jansen is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. DJ LeMayhew will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. One oh on the way. And a slider stays outside and he falls behind two and oh. You got to think one thing here. Get on base. A walk will do the trick. The 2-0 on the way. Swing and a grounder fouled off to the left. Here comes the 2-1. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. 2-2 pitch on the way. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's another 2-2. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And a great start to the ninth as this ought to be extra bases. And he gets in there standing. He's got himself a double. Okay. The shortstop. And this is how you break out of a cold streak. This is his second hit of the ball game, and this one goes for extra bases. And you can see that confidence is slowly starting to come back at the plate. Troy Tulowitzki will stand in yet again as we flash it back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. And here's the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Danger here is this is a guy who can make this a one-run game. And if he does, make him do it out to right field. I wouldn't give him anything he can pull. And this one misses to Tulewitzki. It's a ball and a strike. You can't worry at all about that runner at second. I mean, his run means nothing. Just go right at the guy at the plate. Ready now on one and one. A little bit outside. Two and one. Nothing inside here, at least not to start the at-bat, and I imagine that's by design. Yeah, they'll give him right field. They just don't want him to turn on something. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ball three. And with that time run on deck, you should get something good to get right here three and one. If it's me, I'm looking for a fastball middle in. The 3-1 is on the way. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. Three and two, here it is. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. On to first with it is Kendrick, and it's in plenty of time for the first out. Right, that's just a really nice job right there. After the leadoff double, I don't care who the next guy is, he has to, at the very least, make a productive out. And that's a good job right there as he gets his man to third, now with just one out. Corey Dickerson will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. First pitch coming. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. From the belt, the pitch. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. Gone! A clutch home run as they narrow the gap here in the late inning. So a two-run shot to left center, number 10 for him on the year. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. 
one rule for being a successful closer, you got to keep the ball in the ballpark. Now, he's still got a lead to work with after this home run, but his margin for error is pretty much gone now. Here's Justin Morneau. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. They're definitely making him work out there. He came in trying to shut the door, and he has not had an easy time of it. One out, nobody on. The next pitch. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally, this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. The 2-0 home to Morneau. This is hit sharply to the left side. And Morneau's aboard. It's a base hit. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. And here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it in the left field for a solid single. Here's Nolan Arenado. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Has a look, now the pitch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in there knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. He's ready. Now the pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Runner at first here, one man out. Now another 0-2. A little bit off the outside. It's 1-2. and two. The Ball flying around the yard in this one, as you see so far there. From the belt, kicks and deals. 1-2 offering is hit in the air out to straightaway left. Vance Light will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. And you'll see where this pitch is. It's up, but it's up far enough that he can't quite get on top of it. And he winds up lifting a lazy fly ball. Standing in now, Michael McHenry. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He's ready now, the pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And foul. And with about 32,000 in the building, they're on their feet now. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Another good win for these guys, and they're playing some confident baseball out there right now. That's their fourth win in a row. So they've got things firing on all cylinders. Tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. And guys, a Dodger victory may not have been possible here without the start turned in by this man, Clayton Kershaw. Put that on a bubblegum card. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he wound up turning things over to his bullpen in the ninth, but still, eight strong innings for him. He was hitting his spots all game long.
that's a wrap here tonight. Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The Dodgers win it 5-4. to four. Good night from Los Angeles. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Five runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Rockies, four runs on 10 hits. One error. They left four men on base. The winning pitcher is Clayton Kershaw. His record is now four and ten. Credit the save to Kenley Jansen, his seventh. Moss goes to Jorge De La Rosa. He falls to two and two. Time of the ball game, three hours and 19 minutes. A reminder that post-game bus service on Metro Bus Routes 2, 3, and 4 is available at the corner of Sunset Boulevard and Elysian Park Avenue.